How's it going folks? Just doing a little Sunday maintenance here. The N14. Now the other day I had a little bit of uh, oil inside of the coolant. Not much, but I'm gonna check it here. Let's see if it's, I cleaned it out. Now it could mean a number of things. And she's pretty clean now. That's just around the rim there. Yep, it's uh, we're good. The other day, yeah, there was a few blobs of oil in there. That can be a sign of head gasket or your oil cooler. Head gasket would probably be a lot more milkier than that. Um, I oil was fine. Oil was nice and black. Nothing in the oil. Oil level was good. I'm gonna go down and. I have a tranny cooler, so I'm going to check the tranny cooler, see if there's any sweating on the lines. Check the levels inside of the tranny, make sure that's good and then go down. Sometimes it could just be even dirt or just something from the rad. It uh, causing that color of coolant, but I will keep an eye on it. She still runs and pulls smoke doesn't smoke smokes a little bit like every normal real diesel engine but uh, just a little concerning so I'm gonna go under here and check tranny level make sure we're good while I'm down here I'm gonna go grease her up grease the drive lines up and make sure they're all nice and tight want no drive shafts flying out on the road a little dirty down here but uh, yeah we'll find that little drain plug there and open her up let's get to it want to check your tranny levels it's just on the side of the tranny there it's a half inch drive head get her off Plug. Sure. Uh, I, usually, I usually wear gloves, but uh, sometimes it's just hard to work with gloves. Now you want to do this when it's cold, when the truck is cold. You don't want to do this when it's hot or burn yourself. Open it slowly. Sometimes it might get, if it's really full, it'll leak. If it's not full, you gotta stick your finger in there and just see if you got, see if you have any liquid. So, that's good, no metal shards. Um, yep, I do have, but I did have to stick my finger in fairly good inch or so. So, I always keep gear oil on me. I'm going to just squirt some in there just to be on the safe side. It's better to have more than less in this case. Keep one of these uh, little containers to squirt some oil in. It's not engine oil, it's uh, girl. oil, I just use the container, I buy the pail, and I keep this handy in case I gotta fill the hubs, or in this case the tranny, or the diffs. So now we're gonna go under and put a couple squirts of oil in. Put the hands in the way. There we go. 
hard. But... Get her in there. Just squeeze it in there. some gas. Oh yeah, that's a wet one. Alright, now we check our levels. A little dip in there. Yep, we're good. That should do it.